here we'll discuss cd external slip connector the external slip connector allows the attachment of coil tubing to the CT tool string via the provision of a threaded connection. As we can see in this diagram, the end terminal of the coil tubing string is just a trimmed end. It don't have any thread on it. So the first purpose of the slip connector is to provide the threaded connection. As we can see that the end terminal of this coil tubing string now have the threaded connection which is then used for the connection of the other component of the BHE and by the way it is not only the slip connector all type of connectors either it is roll on connector or the dimple connector the purpose is to have a threaded connection at the end of a CT string. The design of external slip connector utilizes a set of helical slips that grip the tubing in a wedging action. Here are the slips which are used in the external slip connector. So we can see that they have the wedging action wedges inside it and the design is such that when the tension is increased in the connector, the grip of these uh, wedg wedges increase on the CT string. The external slip drive connector have O-ring pressure seals as a standard equipment. So in addition to provision of threaded connection, the other requirement for any connector is that it must provide a pressure seal. So in the external slip connector, this pressure seal is provided with the help of O-rings. Here we can see that this is the bottom sub of the external slip connector and here it have o-rings installed in it. This is the bottom sub which don't have o-ring so this is with o-ring. These o-rings can be changed after the job. So the major sections of external slip connector top sub, bottom sub, slips. In this diagram we have all these major components. So this is the top sub, this is the bottom sub and this is the set of slip which is used inside the bottom sub and top sub, top sub and bottom sub. Here is the internal view of this bottom sub. This is bottom sub which have o-ring as we have seen in the previous slide. Here we will just uh, see the summarized uh, procedure for the connector makeup. So this slip type connector is easiest to make when we compare with the other connectors. So first of all we have to make the end of the CT string ready that is we have to make it smooth with the help of foil then we'll insert this top sub on this CT string then we'll insert this slips. While putting the slip we have to keep in mind that we should keep the direction in such a way that when the tension will be apply applied, these uh, wedges should grip on the CT string. The length of this uh, top point to the end of the uh, CT string must be equal to this length from this collar to the top end of this uh, bottom sub. Then we'll insert this bottom sub and then we'll tie this uh, top sub with the bottom sub and we'll end it up with the connector that is external slip connector. That's it. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.